now I know why people say rocket science is like, think of a complicated thing. Oh shit. Traveler 1, that was in uh, Jewel Orbit. I guess it got launched out <laughs> and it's leaving the solar system. <laughs> This is one of my like little probes, and it's just gonna. It's just gonna drift off. Is there anyone in it? No, it's just an unmanned probe. Nice. But I had it like. So Jewel has a bunch of moons. It's usually like Tylo. Tylo is this big ass moon that kicks shit out. It's like its orbit like <laughs> cross paths the wrong way, and it's just gone. Oh, it, it just slingshotted it. Yup. Sometimes it can, like, sling it into, like, Jewel or, like, crash into another moon. <laughs> but oftentimes it'll just, like, That's entertaining. fling it out, too. Yeah. That thing's been there for, like, probably close to 20 years, though. So, I was gonna fix my encounter. That's so funny that the Traveler's just way out there. Yeah. It'll be aight. Yeah. Let's go check on Traveler 1. See it on its journey. Yeah. Um. Now I wonder if it's far enough out to where the sunlight doesn't reach it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I I've seen that in a different mod pack, but it was a much larger solar system. Like I got to the point where I could see the sun, but it looked like every other star, and everything was just dark. <laughs> I salute the traveler. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I designed it after the Voyager too. Like it's even like named in like reference sort of to him. Oh, this thing still has called? fuel, traveler. Oh, this does have solar oh. panels. You I'm should try got, to bring it back. It's still got power. It's still got a last little fuel. I can take it back. You should try to save it, dude. I, I can get it back to Jewel. Probably. Maybe. Uh-oh. I'm zooming out. <laughs> you know, it looked like I could save it when it was the full arc, but when I see it going oh. this way... <laughs> yeah. Maybe I Yeah, can... that doesn't look salvageable. I got 2,800 delta V. So let's just point it backwards and uh, try and kill this velocity. <laughs> look at all of that. Look at how far it is. <laughs> that That's Jewel. That's the green one. That's Eve. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I could literally take, like, the pale dude, the pale blue dot pictures from here. Just like the actual Voyager. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, I, I love the mod that, that, that um, makes it so you can see the planets. I think that's Elu. Um, so it's just carbon. gas in it right now? Yep, full throttle. Just trying to slow down the 4,000 meters a second. Yep. Try to get it going the other direction. Well, what's going to happen is I'll probably get like an orbit way out here, and then I can actually try and lower it. But I've got to kill the velocity, just like... So you remember what I was doing at Duna earlier? This is basically it on a much larger scale. I've got to slow down, but I'm way past the, like, closest point. This thing's only been out here 12 years. Only? Only? Yeah. The, the Voyager crafts are, like, 40 years old. Wait, really? Yeah. Launched in the 70s. Hmm. That's cool. 78, uh, I think? So, there we go. We're slowing down. Hey, there's an orbit. 
Where's my timed apoapsis? Ah, yes! 33,000 years! Jesus. <laughs> Kerbals are patient beings. Yeah. <laughs> I've never. I have. So you see this this timer I was looking at up here in the left. I've yeah. never seen this number close to that high. <laughs> I think my longest save is like two hundred years old. <laughs> I've never played this game a thousand years. <laughs> a thousand. Yeah, you'll have your stupid spacecraft back in 30,000 years. <laughs> I can uh, make it better. There we go. See? Now it's only 2,000 years. Nice. Now what I can do is in 2,479 years, I can um, lower it and crash it into the sun. That's very cheap from here. Look it's at that. Very cheap. Only 30 meters per second, Delta V of that. <laughs> That's said cheap. Yeah. <laughs> of the like 1600 I have left, I, I spent like half my fuel to get this orbit. That is okay, on the so cheap. So you're saying you're just gonna piggyback off the sun? <clears throat> I mean, I can crash into the sun. I could also lower it and try and get a Kerbin encounter eventually, but, um,. That's kind of going to be a long time coming. It'll be a fun little thing to look forward to. You know what? I can. <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong way. I can do this and set an alarm for it. <laughs> so eventually, if I do play this long. Um, oh, I can, I can wait for the next orbit. <laughs> It'll be like 3,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> um create alarm for that's funny for 2000 years maneuver Get year 23 um oh, oh give me like a 5 day margin <laughs> That's right. really funny. So in 2,440 years, 191 days, there's that maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> Something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> you just made your own comment. Congrats. And you just I'm, made an artificial comment. I'm so far out. There's Duna's orbit. I can't see Kerbin's orbit. Actually, there's Kerbin with all the junk around it. So it'll be even harder to see when I'm way out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. I'm surprised I could salvage this. It's like only 18 meters per second, and I'm getting like really close to Kerbin. Yeah, and then, uh, are you just going to crash it into the sun? No, no, no. Wait, I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Let's do some real shit here, okay? The real shit. Set Jewel's target. <clears throat> when I'm here, I'm going to do a thing called a gravity assist, or at least try and set it up. So, whoops, wrong way. When I get... I think this was what I was talking about. I'm going to use Jules' gravity like, slingshot me around and try and, like... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Way, man. There we go. Back to where it started. But I can, but you see how this green line is lower than this line now? Just, just with this, Jules' gravity is going to change my orbit. I could get my orbit, like, way down here, and that could get me back to Kerbin, if I do it right. That's crazy, dude. Actually, I can, like, fine-tune this. Um, I'm going to do a quick save. I'm going to get this guy home. 
I'm gonna fucking when this thing is back in Kerbin orbit, I'm gonna send up a space shuttle. I'm gonna grab it in the space shuttle. Fucking bring this thing back home. Put it in a museum or something. Put it in a museum. All right. Make a little so, Kerbal museum. Yeah. I, I have done that before. Um, My, like, craft that I sent out to um, Elu. I sent it to, like, Jules Moons, Elu, Drez. Like, all the far out stuff. Like, basically, here, here, and here. And I made a replica because I couldn't get the actual craft back to land. I made a replica of it and put it in the space center. So like, wow, it's like an homage to it. You faked it. I didn't fake it. I just made a replica. I, I've literally like duplicated the craft. <laughs> yeah, because you couldn't land the real one. Yeah, I, I couldn't dock it, and as to get the Kerbals back, I ran out of fuel. <laughs> it was like going so fast. I had to slow it down. I'm like, man, it's lame that you faked this disaster. Jebediah Kerbal grabs me by the fucking neck. He's like, you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> I have seen the edge of our solar system. <laughs> there we go. That's much more manageable. That's a crazy angle, though. He's like, you ever ran out of gas <laughs> in a spaceship? Hurling past your home planet. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't duck, so I had, like, basically an escape pod for them to get home in. escape pods and it was actually that ball capsule on the Soyuz that I use like Kura 3 stick them both all three in there and when I'm close just separate it set it in the atmosphere they're home <laughs> okay. so cooperative now this isn't better well it's, it's better than what I had before but it's not exactly what I want I think. Oh, I can get closer to Jewel. There it is. There's Jewel and his moons. Planned out for in 2,000 years. Huh? So you got it all planned out for 2,000 years from now? 2,400 years, yeah. Whoops. Got it all drawn out. And I, if I, I, I can set an alarm again, and like when that rolls around, <laughs> I'll be ready. It'll just be like, oh hey, this 2,000 year old maneuver is ready. Your craft is waiting. I'll probably forget. I won't forget. It, it'll be right there. It shows up in the tracking station. No, wrong way. Yeah, like you'll probably forget about the traveler by then. No traveler, sorry. It, it's got an orbit. I'm not going to forget about it. It's out here. Hey, you have to remember everything out here. I mean, I kind of... Whoops. Shit. What I try to do is keep track of, like, what i am been working on this game. Because I, I kind of take breaks from this every now and then. I kind of get bored or, like, I just go, I don't want to do this mission. And then I don't come back to the game for, like, two months. I feel you. But I was just like... Like, the last thing I was doing, I was gonna, like, do some Duna missions. So, like, I sent that station, and, like, a week later, I made that helicopter. And then now I'm... Well, yesterday I made some... No. The day before yesterday, I made all this shit that I'm flying today. And today I'm doing this. So, I don't... Dude, this game is so complex. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting any better, but on this orbit, I can probably get another jewel encounter and lower it again, and lower it again, and lower it again, until I'm like, ah. until I'm intersecting you with Kerbin. Point in that direction. That way. It's entertaining. Now, you make this alarm again. Get me home. On the maneuver. The this um little window yeah, here is a mod too, by the way. <laughs> okay. Two thousand years. Yeah. What the clock? Yeah, curve alarm, alarm clock. Dang. 
it used to be part of the um um the mod this was part of used to be called transfer window planner 2 but they hired the guy that made that mod so i have um oh hey like there's the in-game no wait that's the mod oh this is the in-game one okay so i have both this is the mod over here <laughs> i was never good at this mod and then like this is the in-game one and then this is the transfer one it's so, like the guy put both his mods in the game I can get rid of this, actually. <laughs> and then there's this. These windows don't look as good. Used. Is that the one with the game or the mod? Um, th This one up here, I've got selected just in the game. And then this one's the mod. I can I can delete these mods, hmm. actually. It, it's so cool when they hire um, modders for this game. Because like, these yeah, are people that play cool. the game. They're like, this is what it needs. This is what NAS actually uses. So like, and I it's fucking know. Respect, I think too. Yeah, and I fucking know space math too. So why not make it? <laughs> Put it in the game. I know space math. <laughs> okay, those balls are full of monoprop. That's extra fuel. I wish there were science I could collect out here on the edge of space. But it's just like high over the sun. But this thing doesn't have uh, communications. I'm surprised it has power out here. Energy flow 0 0.023. 83% sun exposure. There we go. One. But it's getting full power now. <laughs> uh, solid fuel. So this part's supposed to separate, and those are the separatrons. So yeah. This guy is getting home eventually. <laughs> All right. I will end stream there. Hell yeah.